get your foot in the door and make more money. That is an awesome strategy. I hope you enjoyed that one. And my very favorite strategy that I used to get my foot in the door is... Hey everybody, this is Nick Ponty from nickponty.com and offlinesharks.com. Today I have a very special video for you. I'm going to break down my foot in the door strategy and this is how I've been getting businesses to pay me money by agreeing to a small request and then that helps me to get them to agree to a bigger request, which is actually where I collect the money. So smash that like button if you like this video, if you like that topic, subscribe and let me know in the comments below that you've subscribed because I love to respond to every single person who subscribes to my channel. Now let's talk about that foot in the door strategy. I own a local marketing company here on the island of Maui, that's where I'm at and we have been crushing it by getting businesses to agree to these foot in the door strategies. Now, what is a foot in the door? I'm gonna explain that in detail over this video, but to give you a very small idea what I mean by that, it is something where you agree or you get someone to agree. Like, let's say you wanted to make a cake and you needed help making that cake. And you would go to your brother or your sister and say, hey, will you help me make a cake? Uh, that's kind of a, a big request, Nick. I probably don't wanna do that. But maybe you can convince them to come with you to buy groceries first and then make the cake. Well, we use the same strategy to get businesses to pay us money to deliver services. Now, you don't have to deliver these services yourself. You can outsource these. And I'm going to share all of that information with you in this video. So you're going to want to watch the entire thing because I'm going to share with you how I'm doing this, my favorite foot in the door strategy, and how I actually outsource all of the work so I don't actually have to do anything. I'm just a middleman who gets paid to point out these issues for these businesses and I use foot in the door strategies to get my way in and start a point of contact. So let's get into it and watch this video. Okay, so now I'm gonna explain more about my favorite foot in the door strategies, but there are two things that I want you to remember while you watch this video. Now, number one, I don't actually do any of the work that I find that needs to be done when it comes to making the money to deliver these foot in the door strategies. I actually have people help me, and if you listen carefully and watch this entire video, you're going to see how I am doing this. So keep that in mind while you're watching this content, and obviously you wanna see how I'm doing this. Uh, number two, I don't have any technical experience, so when it comes to delivering things that sound technical, again, I just know what to sound like I know what I'm talking about. I don't actually know how to do these types of things. So stay with me and follow me here, and I'm gonna show you which foot in the door strategies that I like the best because they've been proven to be successful. So what is a foot in the door strategy? Well, when it comes to the foot in the door strategies that I'm talking about, I'll give you another example. Let's say you found a business that needs a website. Well, a website could cost them a lot of money, but if they weren't so interested in spending a lot of money, you might get them to agree to do a website audit for a smaller fee before you pitch them on a website. And an audit could be something as easy as going to their existing website and finding out what things they could improve and just making a list for them and letting them know. And that you could charge a smaller fee. And actually, that is my very first foot in the door that I ever did for any business was a website audit. I would literally go out and I would compile a list of things that I thought that these businesses needed to do to improve their websites and I would charge $500 to do this and then I would just send them the list. Now, what they would end up doing is asking me to fix the entire list. So what I would do is then go on to a site like Upwork and find a website designer who would help me fix the list of things that I identified in my smaller little sale. So do you see how that worked? I charged $500 and then I eventually upsold them on a site redesign for about $2,000 really easy to do and I'm just the middleman in the entire equation, right? I hope you're starting to see how foot in the door strategies can really, really work for you, especially if you're one of those people that are struggling to make any money online or landing your first client. You should really take a look at this foot in the door strategy stuff because it's been like the key for me to be successful when it comes to landing clients and actually creating revenue. Now, my second favorite is an SSL certificate. Recently, Google put out an update where they are penalizing websites that do not have a secure website. And I'm not gonna go too crazy about what an SSL is. You can go ahead and do a Google search, but literally you can get paid 
anywhere from $100 to $300 to find websites that are not secure, easy to do, and then offer to secure it for them. Oftentimes, this is really just turning on a switch to enable an SSL certificate. Now, once you have enabled the SSL certificate, people that own the website, they're gonna look at you like you are an expert, and now you have your foot in the door and you can start to talk about other ways that you can help them to fix their presence or get your foot in the door and make more money. That is an awesome strategy. I hope you enjoyed that one. And my very favorite strategy that I used to get my foot in the door is actually for slow loading websites. And that's because Google put out a another update and actually one quite recently, only about a month ago, uh, they were penalizing or they're going to start penalizing websites that do not have a fast loading website. Now, if your website loads slow, that's gonna make customers who are visiting your website hit the back button, which results in a loss of business. Trust me, business owners are going to want to know that Google is going to start putting them at the bottom of their search rankings for having a slow loading website and they are losing business. So what we do is we offer to fix the slow loading website. And if this is actually the strategy that you want to use, I have a link in the description below on my mini course on site speed optimization, how to find these businesses that have slow loading websites. It's totally free. Click the link below. You'll have that mini course and you have everything you need to use this as a foot in the door strategy for you. And you can take my blueprint and use it for yourself. Now to touch a little bit more on the site speed optimization. Again, I don't know how to speed websites up but I know how to get people to do that for me. This is also something that I include in the uh, free mini course, but that's really what I do. I find slow loading websites, I let business owners know, hey, Google just came out with an update, they're gonna put you at the bottom of the search results because your website is slow. Think about the fear and curiosity that generates in the eyes of the person who owns the website. And then once they agree to fix their website, I have somebody else do that. So imagine this. Now I have created a little bit of money from my foot in the door strategy and I have created a atmosphere of me being the expert in the eyes of the person who owns the website or is a business owner. Now I am able to do things like run social media posts or social media advertising or maybe even build them a new website. The idea is to really just kind of demonstrate your value with this low ticket service, get paid in the process and start a business relationship with new customers and clients. So if you like this information, this video, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments below that you subscribe so I can meet you and respond to your comment. I am going to continue to put out more amazing content on foot in the door strategies, entrepreneurship, personal development, ways that I have been having success with making money online and offline within my business. So with that, I will see you in the next video. Aloha. Listen.